we were at a SmackDown taping the last time I had a chance to see Eddie. This was prior to a big tour that we were getting ready to do. I was getting ready to leave the arena and, and Eddie was living in Phoenix at the time and I was gonna connect on the same flight that he was on from Phoenix to Minneapolis. So I actually told him I would see you on the flight. I ended up changing my flight and I took a red eye. As soon as I arrive, one of the truck drivers for the crew greets me and is helping with my bags. He's like, ah, Ray, did you hear about Eddie? I said, no, no, what happened? He just passed. And I was like, no, no, Ray. I leave my bags right away. And they told me that he was just a couple blocks at the hotel. So I, I hustled my ass over to the, to the hotel and got there and I made my way up right away. Our doctor, Dr. Rios was there and we were standing outside his room in the hallway in shock. Dr. Rios talked to the forensics and said, look, I would really love to see him one time before you take him. And they said, yeah, sure, no problem. I remember walking into his room. He was laid out on the floor next to his bed. I remember kneeling down and just bawling, crying. I, I just didn't want to believe it. Chavo was broken. We were all broken. We were all broken. We had lost a, fi a fine soul. You know, one of the best friends you could ever have. Yeah.